There are big changes coming to the world of blood donation that will allow more people to give blood. These changes will help strengthen and diversify the nation's blood supply, safely ensuring there's blood available when it's needed the most. So, what are these changes? New guidelines that will allow more gay and bisexual men to donate blood than at any point since the 1980s. The United States is joining countries around the world in looking at each donor's individual risk behaviors and not their sexual orientation. This change follows the science and reflects data collected as part of the historic ADVANCE study and other infectious disease research. It keeps the blood supply safe and acknowledges the reality that every possible donor should be assessed using the same criteria when determining their eligibility to give blood. The FDA also recently removed restrictions on blood donations for those that have spent time in the UK, France, and Ireland during the 1980s and 90s, including those that received blood transfusions. This change impacts hundreds of thousands of Americans, including many of our nation's veterans, and come at a critical time when only 3% of Americans give blood each year. These changes mean the potential for more people to donate blood and save lives. And it certainly won't happen without action and hard work in promoting awareness and education to impacted individuals. Partners from all areas, including the blood community, government, community groups, patient and provider organizations, and more, can all play a role. Help support increased attention and resources towards expanding awareness about these changes and welcoming new and returning individuals to donate blood. To learn more, visit bloodadvocacyweek.org.